We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with MMAT Meta Materials Inc. And in today's video, we're also going to cover MMTLP Torchlight Preferred Shares as both of them are slightly pulling downwards, but they weren't the only stocks falling. The overall market and the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot since 3.40 p.m. on Friday sent out a bear indicator. The outflows crossed the midpoint that day in the after hours. And today, after the bell, that bear indicator never got canceled. It continued to hold true. And outflows crossed again after the bell to the downside. And put options went up 200% plus within hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge of the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so today mmat hits another dip area for the first time since way back here on november 28th it had hit it two times double bottom and it ran back up to key resistance levels of two dollars rejected it and rejected two times up here in the 190s and here we are breaking through a key support level guys of 180 to 178 and we need to talk about what's going on here but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunities that were mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the first home run was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bear indicator at 9 55 a.m and from that moment forward, the outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Full weakness there on 42 vision. Crossed down again and put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with MMAT Meta Materials Inc. doing a complete transition again from the rip area up here at the 190s to the dip area here so far of 170s. If it's your first time coming across the channel, why we're Fred Borders is what we call the dip area of extreme weakness and bright green bars is where the extreme strength lies. And you could see these dip areas and transitions upwards and downwards as well. And this allows us to see the dips from the rips and the rips to the dips as well as our bull and bear indicators in inflow versus outflow, which I'm going to pull up here as well. And you can now gain access to the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to the bots and becoming part of our growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So MMAT here, right? Meta Materials Inc. hits another dip area and breaks through the key support level here of 180 to 178 and falls all the way down to the 160s. And it's trying to bounce back up here into the 70s, creating a new support, right? And it's trying to break back into the resistance of 175, 180 area. Now, when we go over to MMTLP, Torchlight Preferred Shares, it has broken through that key support as well of the 770, 780 area and currently sitting here fighting to stay above 750. I've talked about how important that was. Outflows crossed today as well and the bear indicator popped up up here at 820s and it was getting those inflows like somebody was buying up the dip. I talked about that, right? That's the one thing that was holding this up from trying to actually start moving upwards and even going lower and completely collapsing until the rejection happened, guys. And today the outflows crossed and went all the way up to the $9 range, right? $899, $9, and it just completely collapsed down back into the sevens once those outflows crossed and became significant and followed by that bear indicator 
as an extra layer of confirmation. And we have to break down these key levels here in both charts. So the first support that I'm watching here on MMAT is 165 and below that is 160 back here to where this bull indicator popped up between the 18th and the 21st of November. We have not seen those levels since. And then if we break through that significantly, the next support below that is 150. Now, we have not seen 165 or 160 area since these dates back here on the 18th and 21st. And below that was way back here when it was a resistance between the 4th all the way to the 8th. But it briefly touched a little bit below it at the 120s and 130s, but quickly brought itself back up and found strength there, broke above these levels, and we've been above it since. So this is significant to go ahead and show strength over the charts. It's hit another dip area here. Third time that we hit it on the 30 minute. And on the one hour here, you could see that it's the first time that we hit a dip area in these pullbacks, right? We've bounced off red bars and we haven't seen a dip area since way back here on November 10th. So this is significant, something to watch. I'm gonna be watching if these inflows can start to pick back up here on the one hour even if it doesn't cross the midpoint come closer to it and then apart from the one hour i'm going to be watching the 30 minute and within the volatility the 15 minute we want to see these inflows cross back up cancel that bear indicator from way up here at 187 get a bull indicator in the process and the same thing to roll over into the 30 minute with strength right we want these inflows and if they don't cross back up over the midpoint to come back up closer to it, right? That's gonna be significant and important. Now, the last two times that the inflows crossed over, the stock has bounced from 185 to 193. This one was pretty weak, but the other one before that was November 29th, and it went from 183 all the way up to $2. So those inflows are significant, but we wanna see it on multiple time frames, right? And we want it followed by a bull indicator with full strength. So I shared the support levels I'm watching, but to the upside, the first resistance is 180. Above that is 185. And then comes $2, guys. I'm just going to skip right over 190s. We want to see this get into the 190s, but break over $2 to signify some strength and that these inflows go ahead and pull back up. We get this starting to move back up and cancel the bear indicator there on the 30 minute time frame from way up here at the 187s from way back here on December 1st. Now, and where it was a resistance back here on the 10th and below that level takes us all the way back to where this bull indicator popped up and that was 650 guys. Super important levels right now as the stock is pulling downwards. A lot of people are stating and speculating that they're losing that resistance of holding on going into the s1 closing and everything becoming official right of going private and that the shorts have already actually gone ahead and covered some of their positions in this run up now there's still dates to be actually confirmed in the coming up dates and weeks but once that goes private that's about it and the shorts have not covered so a lot of pressure and then we also see a lot of people speculating that Shorts are going to find a loophole. They may not have to fully cover. And we may have seen most of the covering already when it went from $3 all the way up to $12.50. Now, some are speculating that it's not over, right? That it has a chance to bring itself back up. Well, what we have so far right now is the inflow versus outflow showing us a lot more outflows than inflows on the 30-minute time frame since way back here on November 29th. And same thing here, way back here from the 22nd to the 23rd, when things started to really collapse. And since then, the outflows have dominated. And the moment that the inflows tried to put up a fight, the stock sat sideways here, fighting and trying. And it was right here from the 25th to the 29th. And that's about it, right? And when you zoom out in the bigger picture, right? And we look at this on the one hour, you could see that the outflows have dominated all this time since the collapse right since way up here at the peak but once it crossed over things got significantly weaker 
We've been under a bear indicator on the one hour. No bull indicator even on this jump back up. Even here on the jumps back up. No bull indicator to cancel the strength of that bear indicator and the inflows. They barely had strength over the chart. Just two times here on one single day when it crossed over in the pre-market on November 29th and also towards the second half of the day and quickly it got rejected and outflows have been pulled down significantly both times back here from the 22nd to the 23rd that big pullback and here from the 30th all day pulling down to negative minus 2.26 on the 30th right and today they're rejecting and we're down now at minus 1.09 and pulling back significantly again now below 750 as i'm doing this video and if we zoom into the volatility you could see that on the 15 minute things are pulling back dramatically right the outflows crossed again when it's trying to bring itself up the outflow started to cross within the last few minutes and hours and on the five minute same thing these outflows have crossed over right here around the area of consolidation of 790s to 780s and you can see it right there since it crossed over hitting white with red borders back to back dip area of extreme weakness broke below 750 and now it is here fighting to stay above 720 and seven dollars will be significant to watch and if that gets broken through below that is 650 right those are the key levels to the downside to the upside eight dollars guys that's the first resistance that i'm watching I want to see these inflows pick back up on the 15 minute. If that happens, try to create that staircase effect. Cancel that bear indicator from way up here at 864. Get a bull indicator in the process. And above $8, get to 850 and back to $9. Before that, then we need to go ahead and see and reanalyze. If it gets back in that area, what other levels to the upside to watch? And same thing here on the 30 minute. We want these inflows to level off and bring themselves back up because the steeper this is to the downside the more impactful it could be to the charts here and this bear indicator we need it to get canceled by a bull indicator i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money